Hi guys, today we'll learn how to save and load data into JSON file with just this much code. Let's get started. So my scene setup is pretty simple. I just have those two buttons, which will then trigger voids in the scripts. So we can start by creating two scripts. One will be just for holding the data and the other one will be for saving and loading the data. In the data script, we can delete almost everything. We can delete those voids and also those first two using statements. We need only the using Unity engine. And here we can write just the properties that we want our data to have. So for example, I can write here public vector free, which will be the player position. You could easily add here, for example, public int for score and just uh, any data that you would want to save. Here in the data script, we also need to remove the extension of the mono behavior. In the load and save script, we first need to add using system.io. And then we can uh, delete both of those voids and create our own. So we will create void for load data. And this will just trigger when I press the button. And then we can obviously create another void, which will be for saving the data. Because I want to save the player's position, I will also create new variable for the player. We will start with saving the data. So we first need to create instance of the data class and set the player position in this class. So we can just say uh, data data equals new data and then just we can set properties of this data so data that player position equals for me it will be player game object that transform that position so we have just created new instance of type of this class which is holding the data we named it data created the instance and then we are just setting properties of this instance of the data class. Now we can create new string, name it JSON and this will be equal to the data and we will convert it to JSON. So for this we will need to use JSON utility that to JSON because we want to convert the data to JSON and then here we can just input the data. And now we can just save this as our file somewhere in the assets. So we can just say file dot write all text. And here we need to write the path. So this can be something like application dot data path plus and enter name for the file. And also the data that we want to input into the file which should be just the JSON. Like this, we can easily save the data into the file in our assets. And with loading the data, we can do it almost the same, just other way around. So we will create string JSON, and this will be equal to file that read all text. And we need to import the path, which will be, which will be the same path as the file that we have just saved. So we can just copy this path, import it here, and yep, yeah, now we can just easily access the file. Now from the JSON file, we need to convert it back to the class so we can easily access all of the data. So we will type name of the class where we have saved the data, which is name data. So data, data equals, now we need to use the JSON utility once more, dot from JSON because we want to take the data from the JSON. And then just uh, here, once more, uh, the name of the class, so just data. And then to which file uh, or to which string we want to save it, which is the JSON. And now in my case, I can easily set the player's position. So I can just say player game object that transform that position equals to data that player position as I have named it here in the data class. 
So this way you could easily add here a lot more data and just load it like this. You could just say something like score equals to data dot score. And here you could obviously save it the same way. Now the only thing that's left is just to trigger the voice in the script. So we can add the data load save script to some object and the data script you don't need to edit anywhere. You can just leave it in the project. And I will just assign the values and trigger those voids. And also I forgot to make those voids public that I can easily then access them in the button. So it should look like this. Now I can move the player somewhere, hit save position, and when I hit load position, yeah, you can see that it correctly loaded the position. When I turn off the game, you can also in the project see the file of the player data, which we have just created. And here you can also see the data that it is holding. So now I can try to run the game once more, hit load position, and you will see that it will load the position to the position where I have saved it last time. Yeah, you can see that it works just as intended. So this was the easy way on how we can save a lot of data and you could obviously expand it. You could have more files, a uh, lot of different variables and so on. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.